Whoa, back up, Kitty. Kitty, fight! Well, fighting a venomous snake is a bad idea as it could be deadly. Hey friends, I know just like Kitty, you two want to know the effects of snake's venom on the human body. So, let's zoom in! We have already learned about different types of snakes in our previous videos. And by now, we pretty much know that out of 3000 species of snakes, only around 450 are venomous. But, what is this venom in the first place? Well, snake venom is a type of poison which is typically yellow fluid and is produced in the back of the snake's head in the salivary glands, the parts of the head where saliva is made. It is composed of proteins, enzymes and other molecular substances. These toxic substances work to destroy cells, disrupt nerve impulses or both. Snakes use their venom for hunting prey or for defending against predators. But the vital question is, how does the snake's venom work? Let me explain. You see, when someone mistakenly steps on a resting snake, the poor snake thinks of it as an attack and has no choice but to strike the person with tremendous speed. Once the snake bites, muscles in its head squeeze the venom glands. This pushes the liquid through its hollow fangs muscles that act as hypodermic needles and inserts the venom into the flesh of its prey. Once the venom is injected, what happens next depends on the type of snake and venom in it. Yes, my dear friends, some toxins target the nervous system, which is called neurotoxins. Neurotoxins prevent neurons in the brain from transmitting signals, leading to paralysis. While the hemotoxins harm the circulatory system by bursting the red blood cells and causing blood clots or by critically lowering the victim's blood pressure. On the other hand, myotoxins harm the muscular system by causing tissue death in muscles and prevent muscle contraction. So, that's why it is essential to have knowledge about different species of snakes so that doctors could provide the right kind of anti-venom which is the cure for a snake bite. And you will be surprised to know that the anti-venom is actually made out of the venom itself. Yes, to develop an anti-venom, a host animal Usually, a horse is injected with larger amounts of venom. Eventually, the horse's immune system causes blood plasma cells to produce antibodies. These antibodies are then extracted from the host animal's body, processed and purified so that they can be given to snake bite victims. Also, remember my friends, if someone is bitten by a snake, immediately call the doctor. And meanwhile, make sure to move the person beyond striking distance of the snake. Next, have the person lie down and keep them calm and rest. Remaining as still as possible will keep the venom from spreading. And lastly, cover the wound with a loose, clean bandage. Trivia time! Did you know the King Cobra is the largest snake in the world with the ability to inject venom? Also, the inland Taipan is considered the most venomous snake in the world. Hope you learned something new in today's episode. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Never mind.